every once in a while a video release comes along and I'm like, how have I never heard of this before? This movie's fantastic. And that's the case with this new Eureka Blu-ray edition of The Champions from 1983. This is a martial arts, Golden Harvest, Hong Kong action comedy that uh, sort of feels like a proto Shaolin soccer, if you know Shaolin soccer, that stars uh, Yoon Byu, Dick Wei, and Moon Lee, although she's barely in this, and directed by Brandy Yoon uh, from the Yoon clan, which if you don't know about the Yoon clan, it was a bunch of people who were under the same tutelage of a certain Chinese, uh, P Peking opera Chinese acrobatic uh, martial arts director <clears throat> who all took on his last name. Yoon Wu Ping would be one of them. Uh, and uh, many more Yoon Bio from, from this film right here. Uh, anyway, it is uh, on Blu-ray. It's 92 minutes. It is in original Cantonese mono, alternate Cantonese mono from the Japanese theatrical version, restored Cantonese mono, and English dub mono. And boy, is this movie fun. So the idea here is Yoon Bu is this country bumpkin who uses this very strangely athletic and martial artsy way of collecting goose eggs for, for the farm or for his rural uh, life, winds up having to flee to Hong Kong to uh, escape bad guys who are after him or his uncle, and somehow comes across a bunch of guys playing soccer. Strangely, his athletic abilities for collecting eggs translate very well to the soccer field, and I'm sorry, <clears throat> I get choked up when I talk about soccer. Football. They call it football. The British call it football. Hong Kong call it football. In the extras here, Frank Jang talks about this, and he said how mad he would get when he was in America, and they would refer to football as soccer. So screw it. I'm going to call it soccer. That's what I called it all my life. Sorry if anybody calls it football. Know that if I ever say football here, I mean soccer. And if I say soccer, I mean football. So he winds up being part of this soccer team, gets onto a major soccer team, and, and he... Uh, stirs up the ire of Dick Way, who is the big, they call him the football king. He's the he's the star. He doesn't want this guy honing in on his spotlight. And he also doesn't want this guy honing in on his practice of uh, taking bribes to throw games. He is uh, in the pocket of big wigs who put a lot of money on these games. And <clears throat> Dick Way and the other team members occasionally will throw a game in order to make some of that sweet graft. So uh, it is this back and forth battle of wills between Dick Way as the, you know, sinister. Dick Way pretty much always plays a bad guy, although it is weird to see him smile occasionally in this film. Um, <clears throat> this back and forth between Dick Way as the bad guy and Bio as this just happy-go-lucky guy who happens to be really good at soccer and just wants to, you know, win the game. So, uh, as I said, Moon Lee is in this. She sort of plays the, the girlfriend, sort of. She's really not in it very much. It's weird to even put her name in the credits. She's in it so little. But um, she's the other notable name in this that people might recognize. And it's a mix of, like, as I say, proto Shaolin soccer, martial arts, goofy comedy, kick-ass action, um, and, and really fun uh, action choreography and comedy choreography. Again, it's a Hong Kong comedy of the early 80s, so it gets really silly at times, <clears throat> and it looks unbelievably gorgeous. It does not look like an old movie. Again, aside from the clothes, the cars, the hairstyles in this. <clears throat> Sorry, I get choked up when I talk about hairstyles. It, uh, at times it feels like a Jackie Chan movie, some of the Jackie Chan movie of this period. And apparently he is in this in a, it's a literal blink, blink and you miss him. I never noticed it until it was mentioned on one of the commentaries and I went back and I did frame at a time and I'm like, oh yeah, that is Chan. This feels like the movies he was making around the same time. So it's just, it's a ton of fun. If you like, if you like Bio, if you like Chan, this is really one worth checking out that apparently really is not, I'd never heard of it. And I like these kind of movies. So great action, very, uh, Again, as I said in my notes here, I'm like, Stephen Chow had to have seen this movie because it's not the same as far as the supernatural and wacky, like full-on use of martial arts skills on the soccer pitch or football pitch, but it clearly is, if you love Shaolin soccer, this is really worth checking out because it's similar but different. Uh, also a great soundtrack, by the way. It's this mix of like like fuzz rock guitar and like Emerson, Emerson Lycan Palmer Takata style stuff. And for all I know, they lifted it directly from an Emerson Lycan Palmer album because that used to be pretty common, at least in the earlier days of martial arts movies where they would just be like, what do you want to use for the soundtrack? Well, we get the Phantasm album over there. We get the Raiders of the Lost Ark album over there. We've got the Star Wars soundtrack album over there. We'll just cut out the parts that are 
like wildly identifiable. We'll throw in a little of the Shaft soundtrack too. Uh, so it's possible that that was the, the deal here. So we have uh, extras. We have an audio commentary by Frank Jang and F.J. DeSanto, which is great. We have an audio commentary by um, Mike Leader and Arne Venema, which is great as they, their stuff always is. You get a 19 minute featurette called Superstar Football HK or Hong Kong. It is hosted on camera by Arne Venema, which is interesting to see him because I've always just heard his voice on so many commentaries lately. And he talks about this actual all-star Hong Kong movie star uh, soccer team, football team, that used to tour for and do charity benefits, toured Asia. And uh, it became it sort of, and it had like Jackie Chan and Eric Tsang and Sammo Hung and all these other people in it. And it, this eventually becomes a discussion of putting together a fantasy football league kind of thing based on the physical attributes or fighting skills of various Hong Kong actors over the years. Um, that got less interesting to me when it got into that because I don't care about sports, I don't care about football. Uh, so it was interesting to hear him talk about various actors and their skills and all that, but I was just like, ah, I don't care about sports. So the coolest part is actual TV footage of some of these games that were broadcast with these stars. So you get to see like, as I said, Eric Sang or Jackie Chan or other people on the football pitch. That was really neat to see and I had I had no idea that that was really a thing. At first I'm like, is this a joke? But then as it went on, I'm like, no, this was this is actually a thing. So that's kind of cool. You get James Mudge on the champions. That's uh, 15 minutes of him just discussing the film and, and what he thinks of it. You get the original theatrical trailer, which was five minutes. You get the Japanese release trailer, which is two minutes. And it features a lot of footage not in the movie. And it pushes a theme song that was in the Japanese version sung by Yoon Bio, uh, That uh, And it was it re the retitling of the film there was Champion Hawk. So that all is fun. It's a great package. It's a great movie. But speaking of a great package, I'm going to show you a little bit more because... Uh, as always, Eureka does a really great job at the packaging. So there is newly commissioned, if you can see that, if it doesn't focus on my face, you get your newly commissioned artwork there on a slipcase, which, as we all know, slips to reveal the original artwork on the slipcase, which is really cool, and more information on the back. Hold with me. This gets this gets fun, more and more fun. So you have uh, artwork on the disc, which looks like a soccer ball, or dare I say, football. You get the... Uh, reversible cover, which is the cover that's the cover that's on art that's on the slipcase. You get uh, a nice booklet, which features a lot of pictures of Yoon Bio that I think were probably taken for the Japanese market because the Japanese market with a lot of these Hong Kong stars, it was all about like pinup, kissable pinup posters and and stuff like that. A lot of the Jackie Chan stuff of the time is the same way, where it's it's all emphasizing the cute. And uh, so, yeah, a lot of stuff that is not from the movie that was taken for publicity. And then you get, uh, which is uh, to me very interesting, an alternate poster, and it says "Soccer Kung Fu," which is almost like uh, which is almost like Kung Fu Soccer, which is almost like Shaolin Soccer. It also comes with two little trading cards, soccer trading cards featuring uh, our hero and our villain of the movie, which I thought was a really nice touch. So really great edition of a really fun movie from Eureka from 1983. This is Yoon Bio in the soccer martial arts comedy, football martial arts comedy, The Champions.